Silicon Valley centric introduction to Herman Scheer, which is uh, start out by, by contrasting Herman with uh, Al Gore. So, so I love Al Gore, but you cannot start a company and build a business around uh, speeches around global warming. You just cannot. You know, no customer is going to buy solar panels or install systems around uh, general concerns on uh, climate change over tens of years. What it requires is uh, our, our successful policies, policies that level the playing field against uh, highly subsidized nuclear and coal sources, and, and policies that, that are working. Now, now at, um, in particular at Google here, um, a lot of people understand the difference between getting something right and getting something close to right, or i.e. not getting it right. And there have been a lot of policies through in, in the world and, and started in Japan, a very successful successful solar, solar programs that led to massive uh, solar installations. But it was done in a, in a kind of uh, a closed Japanese way. You know, as a, in Silicon Valley, if you have a company here or in the rest of the world, you, you cannot uh, build a business around uh, selling panel, panels into Japan because it's a, it's a, it's a closed market. There have been a tremendous amount of uh, city-based and state-level based uh, programs around the world in different countries that would uh, level the playing field and exempt uh, solar installations. But at the end of the day, they're not uh, in the aggregate of them and in terms of their predictability, they weren't at the top of scale that's required for uh, doing uh, very aggressive and uh, Silicon Valley um, scale uh, investments in, in research and development that, that at times takes years and years <coughs> for, the, for the really uh, the technologies that do that take uh, solar from a uh, $500 square meter economics down to a $50 square, uh, per square meter economics. It takes years of uh, research and development and, and it takes, uh, you know, uh, we're going to use our, our, our close to $200 million in capital quite well to, to get to that point, but it takes substantial investments in these areas. And um, uh, those type of investments that uh, look ahead for five, six years, um, they require uh, uh, you know, a, a market at the end of the day that's, that's predictable.